It was Saturday night, September 8, 1962, when I was crowned Miss America in Atlantic City. And ironically, and ironically, it was Saturday, September 8, 2012, when I celebrated my 50th anniversary at home alone, except for my white German Shepherd called Sieben, wearing my 40-year-old tattered uh, red sweatpants and my Chuck Matt's restaurant sweatshirt. And, of course, big, thick, white tube socks. So I wouldn't see the white hair that was on the floor of the dog. This evening, January 10th, 2013, I am celebrating again my 50th anniversary with the Miss America pageant. Dressed in, thank you, dressed in this gorgeous gown designed by Tony Bowles with my dear, with my dear family, my Miss America family and dear friends, and they are celebrating with me. My 50 years has been a whirlwind of ups and downs. It has seen many goals met and some goals challenged, but mostly dreams being fulfilled. Attending Northwestern University in theater, Washington and Jefferson College for men. I was the only woman there. <laughs> I graduated from the University of Pittsburgh, all because of the $10,000 scholarship money that I received when I became Miss America. And I completed my education, education debt free. Marrying and raising our two children, Bill and Kelly, and in their adult lives, they married and have given me five grandchildren. And living at Rising Wind Farm, where we raised 120 harness horses, mucking on stalls, feeding, breeding, selling horses, and helping birth over 200 foals. My life's greatest challenge wasn't overcoming a chubby childhood or learning to drive a stick shift in my dad's pink stupid Studebaker, which were really, I think it was the only pink car in Sandusky. <laughs> or even the 1963 Miss America pageant. Now my greatest challenge, a short five years after being crowned Miss America, was when my life was interrupted for many years because of a devastating stroke that left me paralyzed and without speech. Crisis, trauma, despair. I was a prisoner in my own body. But after a painstaking five years, I remembered what I had learned when I was competing for the Miss America crown. Patience, determination, and a positive attitude of never giving up. And with the help of Bill and Kelly and my faith, I worked very hard at putting the ABCs together into words starting to read again out loud, then able to complete sentences, and finally, even though it was very slow, I was fully able to speak again. Even with this great challenge, I am so blessed because of the Miss America pageant, because of my stroke, 
because of my family and my dear friends and people who have, have touched me with their kindness and their love. And, in, and so my life has been, over the years, what I call a life of significance. As Woodrow Wilson wrote about a person's character as it builds up over a lifetime, we are not here merely to make a living. We are here in order to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with a finer spirit of hope and achievement. We are here to enrich the world and we impoverish ourselves if we forget the errand. Isn't this what life is all about? Giving of yourself to others, making a difference in other people's lives, giving them hope and encouragement and love so that they perhaps in turn will give others their hope their encouragement and their love to pass it on and pay it forward as they say yes this is the true meaning of life and of being miss america we strive to have meaning to have significance to help others and to be a shining example of hope for all whom we touch. Thank you. And God